I'm going to show you two different ways to make a stabile. And the first way, you're going to fold it in half. So you'll take your paper, fold, and fold it in half. And then I'm going to be drawing my lines where I'm going to cut with a Sharpie. Um, for you, you can either use a pencil to draw your lines, or if you're comfortable just free cutting without drawing at first, you can do that too. So the Sharpie just shows up on the video better. So I've got my, my uh, fold kind of like a book where the fold line is on this side, and I need to draw some kind of interesting line from the top corner down to the side. It can be straight, it can be curvy, it is up to you. And then I'm gonna cut that line. All right, now I have that line cut on both sides and I'm gonna keep my stabile with the fold on my left hand side still. And I'm gonna draw two dots along the bottom, right? So I want those dots to be kind of evenly spaced you don't want them to be too close together. You want it to be about the same amount of space in between each of those dots. And then I'm gonna also draw two dots on the side, but I need to do it a finger's length away from the side. I don't wanna put it right on the fold, and you have to make sure that it's the fold side that you're drawing those dots on. If you accidentally draw your dots on the side that opens up, when you cut it, it's gonna get messed up and you'll just have to start over. So make sure you're on the side that's folded, put your finger down, and then you're gonna draw one dot towards the bottom, and then one dot towards the top. And now I'm gonna connect those dots. So this dot is gonna connect to that dot, and it can be any kind of interesting line. And then the top dot is gonna connect down to this dot. And again, it can be any kind of interesting line. So you should have two lines that go all the way to the bottom, but they do not touch the folded side of your stabile. Once you have that, then you are gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut on those lines. So let me do an example. I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna make sure that I stop right at the dot. I don't wanna cut it all the way off. Do the same thing right here. Cut. And then I wanna stop right at that dot, okay? Now is the fun part. We're gonna open it up and we are gonna add some stickers. You get to pick out three sets of the, the little stickers, so three colors. And then you can also choose a couple of the bigger colors. And the assortment that we have might be different than what I have here. Um, so you'll just go based on whatever we have. And then you're just going to decorate your stabile with those dots. The most important thing is you do not want to put any stickers right on the line. If you accidentally do, it's fine. We can just cut through it. But if you open it up and put that dot on the line and then fold it to the other side, because we're going to decorate both sides of our stabile, because it is going to be a three-dimensional sculpture, which means that it's going to be interesting to look at from all the way around. So we don't want to only decorate one side, we wanna decorate both sides. So I'll make sure and also put dots on the other side. So I have decorated both sides of my stabile with my dot stickers. And now I'm ready to make this flat piece of artwork three-dimensional. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, right? So I've got these little legs right here and I'm gonna fold one of them 
in front. Make sure that the line stays the same right along the bottom. And then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna fold the other one in the opposite direction. Make sure that line is still lined up, okay? And then when I pick it up, I'm gonna see that I've got two legs going in opposite directions. Now for the medium leg, I don't want it to go the same way as the one that's next to it. I want it to be opposite again. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Here, I'm gonna fold those so that it doesn't get messy. So instead of putting it this way so that it's the same as that little leg, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna fold it the opposite way to the little leg. Like that. And then I need to do the same thing with this medium one, turn it over. I don't want it to go the same direction. I want it to go opposite. And then when I pick it up, I can kind of open those legs up. And because they're going in opposite directions, it'll stand up. So when you look at it from the side, you can see that it is a three-dimensional piece of artwork. You can turn it around, you can look at it from different angles. It's gonna look different from any angle that you see it, which is very exciting.